how do you connect to crystals? Crystals have been something that I have been fascinated by throughout my whole journey into mediumship and psychic work. And I want to explain today how you can connect to these beautiful rocks, these beautiful crystals, these beautiful gems, and how they can help you transform your life. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can connect to your crystals and different ways to do that. Stay tuned. One of the best ways to bond and learn about your crystal is to wear the crystal. So I've got a few pieces here that I have. They go on necklaces. This is Jasper and you can put it on a necklace. This one is fluorite. Okay, and then I have some green appetite. I have a whole bunch of different ones and I wear different ones depending on my need. Every crystal is going to produce a different vibration and call in different things to your life. For example, the green appetite is very good at calling in money, calling in abundance. So wearing this when you feel abundant or when you want to feel abundant is a great thing to have on. When you wanna feel grounded, Jasper, especially this red stone is very good at wearing to help you feel grounded. So not only are you connecting with a crystal, the crystal can also teach you what it best provides. Now, of course you can read a book. My favorite one is the Crystal Bible book. And there's so many crystals in there and it tells you what their main properties are, what it does for you physically and spiritually. So if you're going to get a book about crystals, I definitely recommend the Crystal Bible book. But wearing your crystals is the best way to bond with them and get to know them. And I remember when I first started learning about them, I thought bond with crystals, they're rocks. What, what does that even mean? They are so much more than rocks. Crystals come from the earth, which is a living, breathing thing. The earth is providing these crystals, these minerals, this abundance, this life to us, and crystals are a part of what is provided. I personally believe that crystals vibrate at a very special vibration depending on their style, depending on what they are, depending on their color, and they bring in that vibratory match to you. Crystals are so magical, so fun, so beautiful, and they can do so much for you and for your life, but you just have to know how to work with them, and that's what this video is gonna be about. Now, let's say, for example, I wanna call in abundance. I'm gonna wear my green appetite. It, it doesn't matter where it hangs really, however you wanna wear it. You can even wear a bracelet, you can wear a ring, and it's going to be pulling that vibration into you. The more that you wear your crystals, the more their energy is going to blend with yours and the more your energy is going to blend with it. You will be able to understand what this crystal is saying to you, what this crystal is speaking to you, and yes, I personally believe because crystal is energy, we are energy, that we can communicate energy to energy with objects such as crystals. The more that you wear it, the more that it's going to get to know you and you're going to get to know it. So wearing crystals is by far the greatest way to learn about your crystal, to bond with your crystal, to call in that vibratory match of that crystal and just get an overall feeling of what it feels like to have that crystal around you. I personally love to sleep with my crystals either on my person or underneath my pillow. Now you do wanna be careful what crystals you sleep with. For example, a quartz is completely okay to sleep with, to have near you, to hold in your hand. But selenite is a crystal that when it gets in water, it starts to dissolve. And so when you have it near your sweat glands, it does start to dissolve and turn like a yellow color. So sleeping with your crystals either on you or under your pillow is perfect, but just make sure that they're not ones that can get ruined in a watery, moist type of atmosphere. What you're doing when you're having them on you or under your pillow while you're sleeping is you are connecting to those crystals. When you are asleep, your mind is not constantly running with thoughts. Your mind is not constantly running with what bill you have to pay, the childcare issues, gas issues. Your mind is turned off 
and you're able to absorb more, okay? Your subconscious is able to take in more information. And what information would you want to take in if it's not for beautiful, lovely, elegant crystal energy? So again, I totally believe that crystals have an energy, a life force, a communicative way of speaking with you and keeping them under your pillow or on your person when you're sleeping is one of the best ways to do that. When your mind is completely turned off, this crystal can communicate with you and send information to you and bond with you and really form a connection with you because you're not constantly overthinking about other things. You're just lying there in bed asleep. Your subconscious is working. Your regular thought analytical mind is turned off. Your subconscious is connecting to these crystals and absorbing their magic that I love to say. Crystals are very magical and they bring a lot of magic into your life depending on what values they have, the colors they have, and what they can do to enrich your life. So sleeping with crystals is a really, really great way to bond and connect to them. My favorite way, aside from sleeping with them, is to connect with a crystal through meditation. I have some crystal skulls here that I have. If you've watched my channel, you know that I love these crystal skulls. Now, I get these from a very special dealer who only sells conscious crystal skull. So there is a consciousness connected to this skull. This is moonbeam. This is citrine and quartz in one moonbeam here. I also have Amor. She is a rose quartz crystal. And again, you can only get these crystals that I get. I'm sure you can buy these elsewhere, but I get them from a very special dealer because she connects them through the crystalline magic, through the crystalline grids and crystalline DNA. She connects a consciousness to them. And so whether they have a consciousness or not, okay, this is Alcyone, okay, this is Lumerian quartz. Alcyone has a consciousness. This one does not. This is a fluoride. It does not have a consciousness. I can still communicate with both, okay? So don't worry about whether it has a consciousness or not. I just love these crystal skulls. They do bring a lot more magic than a skull that doesn't have a consciousness to it. If you'd like to know who my dealer is, leave it in the comments down below. I'll connect you with her. But the best way is to meditate with the crystal as soon as you get it. Whether it is a crystal skull like this or it's a little piece like this. This is fluorite. This is another piece of fluorite. Is to meditate with that crystal. Lay it on your heart. Hold it in your hand. Place it on your third eye. Meditate with it. Allow its energy and its magic to be received by you. Something I also want to tell you is that whatever you receive from a crystal to trust and believe that that is the correct information. If you get a fluorite crystal, okay, and it's telling you it's emanating love, it's emanating abundance, that's what it's emanating and that's what is true to be for this crystal. I have a lot of my clients or students who are in my mediumship course and I teach you how to use crystals to help you improve your mediumship. They ask me, well, how do you connect? How do you know? How do you know that what you're getting from this crystal is real? If it is of love and light and beauty, it's real. If it's something fear-based such as, okay, don't touch me, I'm afraid. Don't touch me, I'm the devil. Like that's your ego coming in and things coming in that are not accurate. But if you're holding a crystal and you just feel it's magic, anything that you receive, take it to be true. So you would meditate with this crystal. And what I like to do is meditate with a crystal according to its properties along my chakra line. So we can use this one again, this fluorite purple. Okay, this one's really good near the third eye and crown area. Okay, you can use a green fluorite. This is really good green crystals on the heart. That's why I do love to wear this green appetite. I wear it right about here, right in front of my heart. Green is the color of your heart chakra. And when you're meditating, what I want you to do is imagine glitter, if you will, I imagine glitter, or mist from the specific crystal coming into your body, blending into your body. I want you to imagine this glitter, this mist, to be the same color as the crystal that you're holding. 
If you're holding a clear quartz, white glitter, white mist is going into your body. And then once you've absorbed that, I want you to imagine your body in a golden, golden glitter, a golden mist going into the crystal and blending with the crystal, creating that connection. And then from there, once you're through the meditation of connecting to it and it connecting to you, just sit there and ask the crystal to talk to you, ask it to communicate with you, ask it to tell you about itself. Everything is energy. This cup that I have here filled with coffee, iced coffee, it has energy. I could hold this cup and this cup can speak to me. I know that sounds crazy. There's so many people that are like, okay, pass. I'm leaving this video. This girl is crazy, but I do it every day. I communicate with everything every single day. Everything is energy. I'm energy and our energies can communicate back and forth. So meditation is a beautiful beautiful way to connect to your crystal specifically if you want to speak to it and it speak back to you it's a beautiful way to connect to learn about this crystal the best time to do that is as soon as you get at home connect with it immediately through meditation a technique that I love to use as well to connect with my crystal is through a pendulum. I also teach this in my mediumship development course, but pendulums are a great way to get information. So what you can do is use a crystal pendulum. You can even use a regular one. I have one that's made of metal. It just has to have something heavy on the bottom and be connected to a string. I do have a pendulum video. I'm going to link it down below in the description that I've made about pendulums, how to use them and how to calibrate them. So I won't get into all of that in this video, but what you could do is use your pendulum to communicate with a crystal, for example. You could hold your crystal. What I like to do is hold them together so that they kind of get aligned with each other, get to know each other. And then what I will do is hold the crystal in my hand like this hold the pendulum over top, and I will ask a question. Um, are you the color green? Okay, for my pendulum, when it swings this way, it's a yes, and when it swings like this, it's a no. So yes, you're the color green. You could ask it another question. Notice when I'm not asking it a question, my, my pendulum just sits still, okay? Um, what could we ask this crystal? Are you a crystal of love? Yes. Are you a crystal of abundance? Ooh, it's swinging a lot. It, it's swinging a lot harder now. Okay, so um, as with the pendulum class that I teach in my mediumship course and the video I'm going to link down below, you'll learn that if it swings more, that's a bigger yes. And if it swings, it's still a yes, but this is bigger, right? So you can communicate and learn and bond with your crystal through using a pendulum. Now I do have like this really large conscious crystal skull. This is Gabriel. Um, it, it's very heavy. So like if I were to use, I could still place it in my hand. But if you have other crystals that, you know, if I was afraid to drop this, which I am, you could place it right in front of you. I would recommend it being near your heart space. I personally believe that our souls live inside of our heart. And so when you can connect close to your heart, I feel like the information is gonna come across better. So you would again, hold your pendulum here. You are Michael. Your name is Gabriel. I love pendulums. So yes, um, this is a great way to connect to your crystals is using a pendulum because you can ask yes or no questions and get to know it. If you're in the beginning stages of not really being able to accept or hear or smell or taste or even see the information or you're just afraid that it's not accurate, you're not trusting, using a pendulum is going to be clear, concise evidence for you. So you could start out using a pendulum to communicate with your crystals. There are so many other amazing ways that you can use to connect to your crystals, but these are the ways that I have used and I am just in love with. 
Every new crystal I get, I meditate with it immediately. I sleep with it under my pillow or next to me. Obviously, Gabriel, this cannot go next to you or under your pillow. I will keep it right at my bedside on the nightstand. Then I will meditate with it. I'll use my pendulum to communicate with it. These are amazing ways to connect. And of course, I'm always wearing something crystalline. I have a, a toe ring on right now. I have an anklet on right now. I love crystals and I love connecting to their beautiful energy. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I absolutely love crystals. I love to talk about them. If you have any other questions, leave them down below in the comments. I'm so happy to answer them. Also, don't forget to like the video and leave a comment, even if it's just to say hi, because it really does help my channel reach those who need the message. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, my lovely friend.